Blog Talk Radio. Good evening, everyone. This is me, Jonathan Alexander, and I'm here to host our show, Life, Laughter, Happiness. Um, today, um, this is a. I have my co host, Kelly, and my co host, Barbara. Are you there? Yeah. yeah. Hi, Hi, everybody. Okay. And it's a good thing that you're both there because uh, Kelly is going to be doing a guided meditation for us today. And uh, Barbara, after the guided meditation is over, is going to be doing a shock, is going to be getting her shock reset. So uh, oh my we God. figured that it would be, we figured that, you know, after the guided meditation, you'd be awake and you'd be all, you know, tuned or whatever it is. So, yeah, in tune. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, um, I mean, it, was, it wasn't my idea to do this, but I think it was, it was, it was, it was Kelly's idea who thought this up. Um, oh, I think Kelly, she said thank that you. Going through some, You're welcome. She said that you were going through some physical stuff. Is that right, Barbara? Oh, yes. I just still, did you, did I tell you? How did you know? Hmm. Well, well, I, I have You felt it? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, Kelly. I have been so stiff, and Elkie gave me one of those massagers that has those nodules that twirl, and I've been digging into my back so much that I think I actually injured, but I injured it because I do it so much and dig in so deep. Like, I used to get ralphing because I have so much tight, if I don't take care of that from the neck injury that I had, if I don't keep that back loose, which tends to get, like, hard as a rock and knot, then it just affects everything. And then I start to feel like I want to break. I'm going to break. And also, I can't believe that you guys are doing this as a surprise to me. It's just like that. I'm getting chills but, right now because I'll be honest, so much I'll be honest, to me. I had nothing to do. I had nothing to do with oh, this. Uh, I mean, it was her. It was her. You. It was it was Kelly's idea. All Kelly's idea. I mean, she well, she suggested it. I just didn't tell her to do anything else. But I don't. So I can't really say that I have anything to do with it. It's and I don't know if people thought it was a surprise. I actually thought that it was it was something that we we put in the in the, in the chat room. Didn't you put that in the chat room? Our mama was going to see that. Um, I did, but you know, I know that she's I didn't read super it. busy and doesn't always have time to see okay. everything. So no, uh, because when I come on your when I come on the Life Laughter Happiness <laughs> chat room, I have to scroll way up, and you guys have had like three different subjects of conversations with a lot of people, and I appreciate that because I am doing other things for the show. When you guys are chatting with listeners and everything, that's cool. But when I go to it, you know, I could have missed a lot and if I don't scroll all the way up. So I literally did not look at the chat. I did not know. So to me, this is a surprise and it's so nice. And I know we've talked about how I needed another one and I wanted another shot for since April 3rd was my first one. Remember you guys? Yeah. Yeah. I'll always remember that date. I figured, I wanted to give some extra time to the show just in case Kelly needs some extra cleaning time with the chakras. So, well, um, thank you. you know, okay. So, well, no, I want to talk first? about it. Okay. Kelly, what do you think? Uh, okay. If I do the shock, if you do the chakra reading first, then I'm all relaxed and then I can be more open to my meditation because I have a lot more trouble meditating than I have with laying down and having my chakras cleansed. If we do it the other way, oh. I'm going to be like, maybe my mind's going to be going. I won't be able to meditate because I'm going to be thinking about my chakra. I don't know. I I would prefer the chakra first. What do you think, Kelly? I think that's perfectly fine because I think whatever you feel comfortable with is going to work the best okay. for you. So okay. yeah. Well, either, either, way, either way, either way, I'm turning either way. Just so you know, it doesn't matter with me either way because I'm turning on my mute button. So. Well, <laughs> hold on. I can, okay, you That's are funny. so funny. Yeah, that. So you're right. Yeah, 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 a group of people at Echo. She had some nice friends over, and one of the guys is from Hawaii, a surfer, and he is a nurse too. So 
I then we got talking about his knee injury, and then I told him about my fall, and he said, "You are still healing. There's no way. When was this? When was this?" He said, "I said March 19th. I had this terrible fall down, and you know I was explaining a few things like when I work out, I try to work out like as hard as I used to work out because I want to be hard body in shape, but you know I have shoots and stuff." And my groin, both sides in a couple different areas, the groin muscle feels like it's going to, like, pull, and I could injure myself there if I push too hard. And he goes, you, probably your legs went flying in different directions, and you're still healing, so listen to your body. Don't do the pushing. I said, maybe I should just push right through and hope for the best. He's like, no, because he knew my body, he goes, probably about – he said a year, but he's like, no, six, eight, nine months, you'll be completely healed. Your brain also, because I go, I feel different. Like, I don't know, did it affect me permanently? Because I've had so many concussions, and this one was really bad. And he goes, well, you'll never know that, but your brain is definitely still healing because if that knot on your leg is still not all the way down and that mark is still there and your knee still is sore on the cap and you're you know, this and that groin pull and you're tight and your neck and you don't feel quite right. That's just because you're not done healing. So Kelly, thank you. This is, you know what, when you did my chakra healing the first time that people couldn't believe how fast my bruises started to go away. They're like, I've never seen anything like it. They said, so wow. what's it doing? Tonight? Yeah. Yeah. And I felt it. And there's so much to do with not just that, like, your mind is so powerful, as we know. We're trying to drill that into everybody, how powerful our minds are. That helps heal. So can you imagine what's doing to my insides besides spiritually? It's doing to my organs and my blood flow and my uh, cells. It's going to oh, probably yeah. it is possible to be. It is possible to be injured inside. Like a good example of it is, is like somebody can have an accident, a car accident, and, you know, they, on the outside, they seem fine, but then on the inside, something happens, you know. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. like, Internal it's like, uh, or your muscles I mean, get bruised yeah. inside. Yeah. 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 Your lungs can get yeah. bruised. Like, Johnny, uh, yeah, you could get, like, your brain could be bleeding and you don't know it. You're, you could have, what if you have or implants? Boxers. Or boxers, what they'll do is they, there are the cases where boxers uh, they die from boxing matches, but they don't die in the ring. They die two days later because of something happening in their brainstem being knocked loose, or or something right. like that. It's very scary. Oh, yeah. It's a scary thought. There's so yeah. many things. That's why I thought. Oh my gosh! You know what? Even if you get a concussion and you feel okay, make sure you just still go to the doctor, go to the ER, go wherever you need to go because he's right. And there's been so many people who are skiing, for example, they fall, they hit their head on the snow, but they ski down, they're like, oh, it's okay, tired, but I am okay. Nope, two days later, they didn't know they had internal brain swelling and they died of an aneurysm. Yeah. Yeah, it's very important to get checked out. Even, you know, like you said, you think it's not a big deal, but there could be something that happened because you didn't get checked out. I mean, That's right. this far down the road, most likely not, unless there was a fracture, but they'd have to reset it if it was a place that they could do that at. So I really don't think it's like that. But I know with my fall, when I fell on the ice at work, it was in February, and I still have soft tissue damage that we're working through. So where you know, exactly that, on you? That takes on, a while. on your on your body, where exactly is that damage? It is my right hip because I landed on that, and um, it's also like in the lower back. And I get the results of my MRI tomorrow for the lower back and the hips area because. It still has, like, shocking pain going down the back of the legs with the sciatica. And so, yeah. you know, something's happening. And, um, like, physical therapy has helped a lot. But, you know, there's something I'm glad going you're on. Here. 
Oh, so you don't thank have you. Thank you're you. Do, that's so good because you could, if you don't take care of it now when you're young, there's so many older people that are having to get their hips replaced because they probably didn't take care of it when they were young. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, definitely one of those things where it's like getting a checkup at the doctor. You don't want to skip that because, you know, how do you know that you're not able to prevent something happening in the future if you don't get checked out? Exactly. And I want to get checked out too soon for my brain, neurological, because it's so strange. You guys, I feel like I'm better at certain things. And then I'm not as good in other things with my thinking. And I don't know, maybe it's all in my head, no pun intended, but it's, I just think I want to get checked out. So yeah. I, when okay. I get there, I'll say, I've already had my chakra cleanse, doctor. Yay! <laughs> okay, so are yeah. we going to do the chakra cleanse first and then the guided yeah. meditation? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, all right, I'm going to turn yeah. off the mute. I'm going to put on the old mute button, and then you get started, okay? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, wait. Barbara, Before we go, do don't you have a picture of Barbara, or do you need one? Oh, I don't Can know. you? Uh, thank yeah. you. Hey, she has so many snapshots. But can Johnny um, please post on Twitter right now, say, live on Life, Laughter, Happiness, co-host Barbara's getting it. Chakra cleanse because I didn't post it today and I can't. I have to lay down now. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, Do you have post on Twitter? Yeah, what that I can post. I mean, I, I you don't know think why? I, mean, I, I wouldn't. Why? No, because when I post on Twitter, then it goes straight to posting on Instagram, so it's pretty easy. And then if you tag me, then it'll be on mine. What I'll just do Why? is I'll just edit okay. the title, and then I'll say I'll just say Barbara Moore is going to get chakra cleanse before our guided meditation, and then if anybody okay. sees the link, they'll see that's what they'll do. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a box where you yeah. say underneath your tweet. There's a box that says add another tweet. That would be perfect to just okay. add it there. Okay. And all right, I'm gonna. Lay down and stop worrying about all that. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I just because I know there's several regular listeners that they're like, oh, are you you doing a show today? I'm like, oh, just check always on Twitter. So accidentally do it today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's understandable because if they don't see it, they don't know. They think, well, maybe we're just not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, I just see anybody that goes into Twitter is going to see it. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, you're really good with your intuition, Barbara. So when you say that you think it might be better to do the chakras first, you would know best because it's you. And you know how the, you know everything works together, and you know how you work. So I I'm Thank glad you. that you feel comfortable to tell me. Mhm. Thank you. That's one good thing yeah, about okay. us. We are very open, and we, you know, we have to be that way because isn't it an ama- isn't it amazing? Just what a little communication can do. Yeah. Absolutely, and it's it's crucial that we do, not only because we work better together and uh, the show goes better, but because we don't, you know, we're not face-to-face, we don't, we're not sitting across the desk from each other, so there is, you know, more communication that has to go, you know, um, more openness that has to happen, because you can't get voice intonation, you can't, you know, and it, it takes the guesswork out of it when we can communicate so well. You know, exactly. being that, you know, we're from three different places in the U.S. It's not even anywhere near each other. So, right. You know, we it, can't get body language. Yeah. We yeah. can't get body like, language. Uh, yeah, all of those things you said. So, yeah. 
That's right. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm just adjusting my pillow just right. So Kelly, oh, cool. my first chakra reading was, let's see, April, May, June, July. Well, three months. Three months, well, not four still. months, right? Yeah. You're okay. definitely due, you know, and mm-hmm. and you can tell when you need a little extra, you know, loose from the healing department, you know, you can tell, like, things aren't quite lining up all the time, right, and, you know, it just... Yeah, inspiration with the body, I feel like I have a very low energy. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. to get myself to actually do hard ener- exercise is has been harder than usual where I usually have that natural wanting it, longing to do it. I just, I don't want to become that where I just dread, you know, dread it. I want to want to exercise again, sweat and push my body. I used to just be addicted to this and I haven't gotten that back. Well, you are still in healing and that does take time. And that's what I'm having to face too. Cause like, I would go to the gym and be there for like three hours or I would go and, you know, do things in landscaping and carry bricks and, you know, everything else just so that I had the exercise and I was getting things done. And now it's like, you know, I'm having to be patient with myself with the process and it's like frustrating because I have like six different projects I want to do, but I'm able to tackle them better but it, it, than I was before, but it's still not where I'd like to be. But I'm having to learn to be, you know, accept the fact that it's getting better. It's slower than I want, but that's okay because this is what I need to do. Because if we push ourselves too hard or too fast, we knock ourselves back and then we have to make up for lost time because, you know, you can actually injure yourself more by trying to push through it and ignoring the pain. And I know okay. I've done that. I've done that I for did years. Know. And then you were like out for the count for two weeks with a back out or or a groin pull that you just can't even really walk, right? Yeah. And then once you do that, then it's like you feel like you're not there with your stamina and your strength because it's been two weeks being able to do less and, you know, then it throws your body out of alignment because you have to favor this leg or this hip or you have to move a certain way to avoid pain. But by doing that, you know, you're not lined up up and down with your spine and you're not doing correct posture because you're trying to avoid hurting. And a lot of times the correct posture is what we need to try to avoid it, but we have to strengthen different muscle groups in different ways than we're used to to try to compensate. You know, if maybe we have a little bit of um, muscle loss or a little bit of weakness that we didn't have before. And that's why something like physical therapy is so important because, you know, they can tell. They can tell and they know there's a certain point that you don't want to push past or you're causing more damage. So That's you know. right. And But you know what? I feel like I went that far after the accident to where I actually lost so much muscle that I knew from previous when you stop working out and then you start again how hard it is. I knew that this was going to be harder in my mind, so then you put it off more. So I think that this chakra cleanse is going to take that away because – I've really been thinking, okay, I'm calling the uh, beach yoga tomorrow. I'm going to do that. And I'm going, I have my weight room right across the way. And I actually was thinking, okay, I'm starting my hard 21 day workout every day tomorrow, actually. And then you surprised me with this. I mean, how great is that? No, oh, good. That was, that was definitely, you know, um, that's definitely, Nothing is, you know, by chance. And, you know, I, I'm getting really in tune with, with my intuition. In fact, um, 
Brian and I changed what his travel plans were because I had a really bad feeling about it, and he could have missed a connection somewhere. And it just, it really did not set well with me. And he was like, honey, I don't want to take you out of your way. And I'm like, honey, that I am happy to do this, plus we have to spend more time together. And, you know, I'm happy to do this. You know, I would rather do this than be worried about you. Ah. And, yeah, so, I mean, you know, if if we listen to our intuition, because a lot of times when I ignored it, it was like, oh, I should grab this on the way out the door, you know, and then, oh, no, I won't need it. I'm not going to go back for it. And then you need it later, and you're like, oh, yeah, I should have listened to myself, yeah. <laughs> you know. The little things like that in your mind, yes, you should listen to it. Mm-hmm. People yeah. question it all yeah. the time, though. They don't know. They question their intuition. So we've learned to know, trust your intuition, because that's your higher self talking. Is that right? Is that what they say? That's your higher self? Yeah. Yep, your higher self with your ego out of the way. Yeah, because our wow. ego wants to tell us that, you know, well, it's, it's okay, or, you know, um, the ego says, oh, I've got this under control. I'm not going to listen to that. And, you know, there's a difference between logic and ego. So, yeah, if, if if we keep everything in balance and get the ego out of the way, then we get these clear messages of what we should, you know, I hate to use the word should, because they always say don't should on yourself. You know, don't do the work mm-hmm. could have should have. Mm-hmm. Right. It would be so much easier if we listened to that intuition. And then that's a you know, good apply. thing to think about. No, that's yeah. good to. I'm glad you made that point, and for all the listeners, because just hearing it, then you're okay, aware. Let's try to listen to it. That could be like something that everybody tries a little harder on today and throughout the week. Try to actually calm down and listen to your intuition, and do whatever it says this time, and see what happens. Yeah. And don't doubt yeah, it. See what happens this week. That's very true. And then, you know, as you work with it, then you're able to tell, okay, is this a fear or is this my intuition speaking? Is this, you know, something that could actually happen or am I fearful of a situation and, and change? And if that's what it is, why? And what can I do to work with this? You know, right. you have to be able to discern, is this really a gut feeling? Is this really coming to me clear? Am I calm while I'm getting these messages? Or am I in a place of fear and it may not be my intuition because I'm not calm? Right. So, yeah, to get that clear as a bell intuition, you have to be calm. You have to make yourself still for a moment. You have to be in the moment. Be mindful. And, you know, that's why we do things like guided meditation and do breathing exercises when we start to feel tense. is so that we can get back in the here and now and you know, get that stuff out of the way so we can see the clear picture. That is great. When I said, oh, just calm down and listen to your intuition, I actually didn't really know that you should be in a calm, be calm for that. It just came out. But that is true. You're supposed to be calm, right, to listen to your intuition. Okay. Wow. This is a good message. For people. Good, good. Because I've, I've noticed that, you know, if you can allow your thoughts and feelings to recognize you have them and then, you know, let them pass through you and not become you and just let it go, then when you are getting a clear message from your higher self, um, you are able to receive it and know that's what it is. And Otherwise, your emotions get in the way, and when they do that, it's really your ego. Your ego is getting where, in the where way. Are you, where are you located right now, Barbara? Are you laying in bed? 
Yes, I am. I'm laying in the living room on the very comfortable couch looking at my favorite painting. Oh, cool. That house that we'll be staying on? Yeah, but it's a two. It's two. And you can actually put it together, and it makes a king size. And so it's from Ikea. I call it. It's like it looks like a couch in the day, but it's not really a day bed. And, oh, my God, are these ever comfortable? Oh, my oh, goodness. Cool. Oh, oh I, I mean, this is where I sleep every day. I mean, it's, yeah. And Priscilla's like, oh, can I sleep <laughs> next to you, Mother? Oh, and I go, sure. Oh, my gosh. And it's soft. And I've got the – what did you say, Kelly, that you were laughing? What did you say? We should get an endorsement from them now. <laughs> Oh yeah. We just put I, I do. I drop these hints on I drop these names and then I think about that later. I'm gonna have to stop doing that. <laughs> okay, so no. well, and then I I'm actually gonna be looking for one here pretty soon. The one downstairs okay. is okay, but it's not the most comfortable. It was a steely beauty rest, you know, fold out and when you put it back together, it's like the cushions aren't as cushiony as they were. And you're kind of like, oh, yeah. Well, I so, will send you the exact okay. the picture from what these are. But I'm looking, yes, so you'll have that. Okay, so I'm looking at my favorite Thank painting, you. which is this man and woman together. And I, because I looked up Feng Shui, how, and they said, in where you sleep, it's nice to have artwork that is about couples and love and it's just a really good idea but you're not supposed to have pictures of like your family you know unless you're married and it's like a one little wedding picture or something it's uh you're supposed to have just art of like love and peace and also when you walk into a house you're not supposed to have a picture of a mountain right away because it's a blocking you you can have it like oh. behind your desk because yeah because that's it's very interesting if you guys look that up because I'm decorating right now and that all makes a lot of sense. People's visual thoughts become things and visual is where it starts a lot of times or smell our senses. So yeah, think yeah. about that too. Well, I guess we better, I know Johnny's probably like, That's what so chakra true. are you on? We're not on any chakras yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're having, we're having, uh, yeah, we're having fun over here. Um, okay, well, we can be on one. <laughs> so, okay. yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll start and I'll explain it for people. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put people. it on you. Okay, I'll go ahead and put oh, it on you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I know that you two and a lot of our regular listeners will know what's going on, but I want to explain it for anybody new that's joining so that, you know, they... They can follow along and they can know what is happening. So, um, yeah, and I've been doing a lot of spiritual practicing and learning techniques and diving in deeper. So I think this is going to, I don't want to say it's going to be better than your first one, but it's possible. I, I don't like to compare because they're all individual experiences and no two are the same. But, you know, I have more clarity, so that helps. Yeah, and plus both of them will be on the show, so we could refer back to them and compare, which will be fun later. Yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, the website should be, you know, awesome, and that's coming oh, up. Oh, yeah. Coming up. Yeah. Yep, a lot of great things are. So yeah. if you're nice and ready and relaxed, I am. Ready for me? Oh, oh yes, yes, I'm ready. I want to do the energy um, ball, Callie. Oh yes, let's start with that. Um, okay. We rub our hands together really vigorously so that we can start to feel warmth and maybe a tingle. And then when it feels warm, then we put our hands shoulder width apart. And when we feel a little tingly, get a little closer. Slightly cupping them a little closer until you're about five inches away from each other and you start to feel resistance. And it might take people a few tries, but this is creating an energy ball. 
and people who are really energy sensitive might be able to take that ball and throw it against the wall and see like a white splat of energy. And if you can't and this process isn't working, don't get frustrated because this goes along with being intuitive. This goes along with being able to practice mindfulness and meditation or yoga or tai chi, any of those like mind, body, spirit connection things. Um, Pilates, you know, different things like that, martial arts. So Yoga? Yoga, yes. So anything like that, you know, they tend to practice that connection and they'd be able to pick it up a little easier than other people. And it's not a race to see who can do it quicker because everybody's different. Everybody's an individual, different experiences. Mm-hmm. So I'm doing that. I'm just keeping it in an energy ball. I'm not throwing it. And then I'm relaxing, but it's put the blood flow in my hands. It's put the concentration of energy there. So it's a lot easier for me to be in tune. And I have a gemstone um, a pendant, and that's what I use. It's like jeweler's. Oh, no, it's like jewelers, uh, like that clear string, and um, it's got different beads. It's basically a straight thing that's flexible. Um, people that are energy sensitive and do energy work, you know, um, you could use something like uh, dental floss and paper clips. That would work, too. So... I concentrate on you, and I concentrate on the area of the chakra that I'm working on, and I like to start at the root, and if we if we were sitting, that would be the part that we'd be sitting on, and that helps to draw, if you can imagine, that grounding us, and it's associated with the color of red, that grounds us, which makes us... Part of the earth and all earthly things like nature and it helps keep us balanced. Like the big word with all of these is balance. And you want them to be open and flowing. So I'm going to check that because that's the most primal and important energy. And it's our instinct for survival and safety. Um, let's see where you're at with that. If it goes in a circle, that tells me that it's healthy, that it's flowing. Um, if it goes up, you know, like up and down or side to side, that tells me that there's either a block in it or some negative energy. And, you know, each chakra affects a different body system and organs and thought processes and how we deal with feelings and experiences. So, okay. Well, this right away started going back and forth. So that, yeah, that's very, you know, it's fairly strong. Um, yeah, it's definitely uh, letting me know that we need to work on it. So. I know. What about if it hurts? Because I didn't want to tell you before, but. My lower back is very stiff. It's not injured, but it's always stiff. And the chiropractor is always saying that. And I don't know why, because I'm a quite flexible person, but I bend down, I cro- I squat down to organize the house or something. And I think it shouldn't be hurting like this. And that could be affecting everything, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it can be like your groin muscles can be in that area, uh, your uh, women's parts, um, things like that. But I think like the sacral would be more of the lower back. So this is more okay. like the seat. Like, yeah. So we're not on if that lower back yet. Not yet. But okay. this one is definitely off. And, um, yeah, did you say that you had pulled a groin muscle or something? Oh, yeah. That is oh. my 
egg, nagging problem, nagging problem right now when I start to try to get back into my heavy workout. It's always feeling oh, like, uh oh, it's not. Could it get injured if I continue hard workout? And I'm always fearful of this because groin muscle pulls are so excruciating and they take a long time to heal. Yeah. I don't know if women can, I think, I think women can have ulcers there. I mean, it's not like, you know, a man, but you can still, you know, not ulcers. That's, that's the wrong thing. It's, it's where like a muscle can kind of, you know, um, poke through where it's supposed to be a little bit. Um, gosh. Um, but mine is it up there where the pelvic area is. It's inner thighs. Like say you do those, you squeeze, do those squeezing motions too much at the gym, and you can overwork those. It's that area, like in between the legs, inner upper leg area, groin. That maybe sciatica. it's not called the groin. So yeah, it groin. can be sciatica because your sciatica can go down the back of the legs. It can go wrap around the side. It can wrap around the inside. That mm. could be it. It could be something pinching on that, but it's hard to say. That's why, you know, it's best to have somebody do like an MRI or something. But, you know, um, I would definitely get that checked out before you really push yourself. I mean, I know that you do things like rollerblading and bicycling. And that's going to be better for you because you're still getting your exercise, you're still working your muscles, but you're getting a lot of good cardio. And it's not like you're pounding on it. It's not like, you know, you're running, which you know, I know somebody that's 35 and getting um, hip surgery because they're oh, a regular man. runner. Yeah, and yeah. That's, that's scary, you know. But I'm not yeah. saying don't do it. But low impact things are going to be, you know, better for us in the long run. So well, you don't have to tell something. me that. I tried that. I tried that running thing, intensive running. I did not like it. I like the adrenaline pumping of it, but it, like you said, there's other things for cardio, and I just prefer something else besides running. So I won't yeah, get. I won't do any jarring motion. For a while. Yeah. Yeah. Like a spin class wouldn't be too bad, but I would get it checked out before you do anything intensive because, I mean, quite honestly, you know, you don't want to re injure or cause a new one or make something that's there worse. And, right. you know, until you have it checked out, you know, because, like, they told me, do not do these things. And it's like, okay, until it's healed. And now it's, you know, look at the results of the MRI so we have a better picture. But, um, yeah, so I would I would definitely, you know, do what you can do in moderation. Maybe do it a little bit longer if you can instead of trying to do a lot in a short period of time, you know, because you're still going to get the same benefit. If you do something like strenuous and fast and all that in a half hour, well, maybe do something moderate for like an hour instead. That'll build up your okay. time too. Good, good idea. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And swimming is like the best all over body exercise you can do. Mhm. I yeah. know. Yeah. I'm not into that though. It's kind of hell on the hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into it, Kelly. I'm not going to be doing that, but. Um, yeah, yeah. It it's just I don't like chlorine, and I don't really go out in the ocean and swim, and just not a swimmer like Priscilla is. I I love water, but I don't just go do laps, you know. Do mm mm. Oh yeah, yeah. If I'm doing something, I want to do something fun like snorkeling or looking for things. Yeah. You know. You know, mm-hmm. I would love to do scuba. You know, I'm not trained, so I'm not going to yet, but. Yeah, but you I mean, will. I do the smart thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. But um, let me see what happens when I go into it even further into your root chakra, and we'll see if I can get a better picture. Okay, it's that fear coming in the way. The fear of, I'm going to hurt myself with this, it's the fear of, so let's take fear out of the equation. It's not a factor. 
because you're going to go to the doctor and find out what's going on. And then okay. you're going to find out what they say that you're able to do right now and work up to where you were. And it, you're going to get there. I know that you're going to get there. I I see you there in top form. It's just, you oh, know, good. like, okay, you've got a speed bump in the way. And, you know, that's life. Life happens like that. And it's okay. Because we, you know, mm-hmm. and, it's, you know, you're less than impatient, which I hate, I hate to say it, but it's kind of like it didn't happen because you didn't have it. It's just. I know we both were in an LC too. We all just want to have it right now. We want to be to be better right now and be at mm-hmm. this point right now. And it's like sometimes in life we just it, it's hard to accept it, but we can't always be at the point where we want to be or where we were before, and we can get there, but it's not on our timetable. <laughs> and it's kind of the yeah. Part. It's like, oh, come on, I want to be there yesterday. Yeah. I know, Um, I want to snap my fingers and be totally perfect. Yep, yep. I hear you. And it's that fear. It's that fear of, you know, oh, boy, am I going to do this again? Or what is this? I don't know. This is the unknown. But when you get the answers, you're going to be able to have that settle back down. Because no matter what it is, it's easier to deal with than not knowing. Mm-hmm. And I think even having appointments set up that you haven't gone to yet is more calming because then you have a pathway to get there. It is clear. I'm going to see this doctor on such and such a date. We're going to do this. And I may not have the answers yet, but we're getting there. You know, you start to see the progression of the steps. And right, that so it's the first step. First yeah, step, make the yeah. appointment. Okay, got that done. Then go, oh, yeah. got that done. Yeah, so no fear. Yeah. And so that, you found fear in there, huh? Yep, yep, yep. And and that goes along with your instinct for survival and safety because it's like I'm pretty sure you feel like you don't have a safety nut right now. No, you, yeah, yeah. A little, I mean, they're there. I'm afraid they're there, but I'm afraid if I don't act upon it and just, you know, they might go away. I fear that they might not be there forever. You know, safety nets is of a lot of different ways, you know, of because when you are self-employed, there's so many different ways you make money and you can make money and opportunities. So many diff. so do it, you know, take it yeah. and do it. And I have a fear that I always can make it and do it, but I have a fear that what if I don't someday? So that's ridiculous. I need to try to get rid of that fear of losing, a fear of loss. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, if you look at the worst case scenario, you're, you're still, you have a brilliant mind. You have a wonderful personality, and I know that um, when you're trying to get through something physical, it's like, yeah, but that's not what I'm focused on right now because you're trying to get back to you. And I'm not saying that you won't because you will. It's just, um, but you've got things at your fingertips that you can do now that are little, you know, creative endeavors outside the box that you're normally, you know, used to going, you know, that these things are really huge that you can, you know, that are coming to you, like that software to be able to do animations and to do the videos. That Mm -hmm. is God. That is, oh, my gosh. And you are like a creative genius, and you soak up information like a sponge, and you know how to apply it. And, I mean, Oh, I'm serious. That's so nice. Thank you. Oh, thank you, but I'm being serious. But, I mean, you are brilliant. I mean, my God, you know, you are the total package. So, you know, if if part of the things 
seems like it's lagging behind and it's your physical self, you still have the other parts of you that are wonderful and maybe they're a little bit underutilized and you bring those up. And then when you get your body back under you the way, you know, that it will be, you're unstoppable. I mean, seriously, you don't have a thing to worry about. I mean, I can see you even writing a book in the next couple of years, and that'll be a nice source of income, and it'll be inspirational for a lot of people. And you're going to be learning more about yourself along the way, and, you know, I really totally encourage you to be making little progress notes on little inspirations and little things that you've learned about yourself or, you know, things like that. And then you can put it together and go, oh, my God, look where I came yeah. in, you know, this amount of time. And that Thank is you. That's inspire. true. You're so, that's I mean, so you're funny, stuck. Kelly, because I just two days ago found this beautiful book that Priscilla had in her room. She wasn't really using it, and it's like a journal, and it has little things that are uplifting. Oh. And I go, can I use this for my, just, just so I have my life, laughter, happiness, like, idea, just all in one? She says, sure, I could have it. And I just oh. did this, and I just wrote my one thing in it this morning, one thing so far. And then you said that. <laughs> you encouraged me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is amazing. Yes, yes. And you and Priscilla are going to be working very closely. I mean, you already are, but I mean, you know, with your creativity and with her gift and your gift, you are going to be able to help her help a lot of people here pretty soon. And, you know, look at you. Look at the position that you're in. Look at all the things coming together for you. You've got this. It's just you You have, you know, while you're going through this, it's, you know, time to focus on that, but, Kind of, you know, like wait until you find out what the doctors say. Take take it a little easy, but, you know, push is not to the point where it hurts. And, you know, focus on these other talents and abilities because you got them coming out your ears. I mean, seriously. Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, yeah. I mean, take that little bit of, you know, time and a little bit of um, shift of focus and really develop those. And okay. you'll never have to worry about a safety net because you'll always have a million things that you can offer. Thank you. You're welcome. So let me check it and see how that's doing now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, ah. so it's doing that plane propeller thing where it wants to like fly across the room. So yeah, that's and it got better the one that you already checked. Oh God, yeah, yeah. Before it was like going front to back, like no, nope. and now it's like zoom. Wow. Yeah, you're gonna take that and run with it. You, I mean, girl, you got so many things in your corner right now. You don't even know, and it's like. You are going to have some really good things coming to you in the next five months. I mean, it'll be like, you're going to be like, your head is like going, wow. And then there's another, wow, I didn't see that coming. Wow, look at this. This is falling into place. Wow, what's this? What's happening? Look at all this good stuff. I love that. Yeah. And and you, you are manifesting and making it happen. Thank you. I mean, last night I had more con- conversations with another person, a friend, and they really knew a lot about science and just, oh, so much paranormal. And I mean, what a wonderful conversation I had with that person. And they do know scientists, and I'm so happy. And I, they're going to work with me on finding the right one to come on the show because I know we want to incorporate, incorporate that a lot more, don't we? Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. This is an exciting mm-hmm. time, and it's just like, you know, I can hear the words of Karen Page in my head, 
You ain't seen nothing yet. So <laughs> be prepared. Love it. You know, make make room for these changes coming. You know, uh, be yeah. open minded to it. You know, don't don't have an intense laser focus on what's happening physically. I mean, get your stuff taken care of, but you have all this other stuff that if you're focusing too much on the physical, you're going to miss it. You don't want to miss these things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get that physical. Yeah. And you know what? I've always said when I'm on in tip top shape, I can do anything. Nothing's impossible. Everything falls into place. I just really needed this. To, I need to get there and I'm starting I mean, I've exercised, but not like I used to, like championship exercising, you know what I mean? Like yeah. winning yeah. an athletic competition, an event, I mean, that kind of exercise. I used to be addicted to that, and I want that back. Oh, you will. You'll have it back. And when, you know, when you get the green light to go, you're going to tear it up. You are, I mean you're going to tear up the ground underneath you. I mean, your body will be strong. You'll be able to depend on it. But it takes those steps to get there. And if you skip the steps, you're not going to get there very well because you're going to have setbacks. So it's, I know it's a pain in the butt, and it feels like it's taking forever. But you'll look back and be like, wow. But while that was happening, these things were taken off for me. So a little change in, you know, direction, but you're going to get it all. You're going to have it all. It's just not lining up at this moment. But all these wonderful opportunities are lining up for you. Meanwhile, you know, Mm -hmm. while you're not in tip-top form, you know, these other things are taking off to, like, gain momentum and I don't want to say make up for it, but it helps, too, because it's all in the balance. It's exciting. It is. You are in a very exciting time. And when this Mercury retrograde gets out of the way, like um, around the 5th, you're going to start to see things a lot more clearly. And it'll be like, wow, this is happening. Oh, I see the possibility with that. Oh, this is a new opportunity I didn't even know about. You know, you're going to start having those moments. And, awesome. And, yeah, your intuition is definitely, it's going to be leading you to things and to people and opportunities through people. Mm-hmm. So, it's really important, people. Yeah. People, it always, oh, just getting out there and talking to people. It's, you never know. Yeah. It's going to lead to something else. And plus it was enjoyable. It was an enjoyable time to be, get out there because people become hermits and they stay inside and stay inside wonder why nothing's happening in their life. They got to get out. Yeah. yeah. Break out of the routine. Don't just do the nine to five and come home, get something to eat, watch TV and go to bed. You know, break out of your comfort zone. Go do some volunteer work. Go, you know, do explore a book section that the library you hadn't been to before. You know, explore a new concept and see if it's for you. Try a new hobby. You know, there's a right. lot of things that keep us young by stimulating our mind. And, and you look know, at, at their local. Connect out. Like, they're, just go look at up their local activities. Every city now has a website and look at what's going on and choose one thing once a week and just do one social little thing once a week doesn't even it it can be free look for whatever is free you know don't go spend a lot of money that will stress you out more but yeah do one yeah like that's a goal go do something different once a week in your local area yeah Yeah. whether it's meetups whether it's um the facebook local or events page yeah it's like there are, are so many things to do that i get overwhelmed trying to figure out what i'm going to do and then it's just like something falls into place. And it's like, oh, I'm so glad I did that, you know, mm-hmm. instead of being afraid to get out or, or what, you know. I used to be, I mean, there was a point in my life where PTSD was ruling me and fear and depression to the point 
I didn't believe unless I absolutely had to, and I was fearful when I did. And now it's like I am not that person anymore, and I'm not looking back. I am going forward. You know, I am leaving that way behind because I wasn't happy like that. And the world became so small like that. And Mm -hmm. it seemed like things going on that were not fun seem to get magnified when you do that. And now it's like there's this great big world and all these opportunities and all these really cool, fun people to, you know, get to know and talk to. And, and, you know, what's really cool is that we're all, like, growing with the show. We're all a community. It's like you don't have to be alone. You can be part of this. That's right. Wherever you are. Yeah. And Never alone you know, if you're part of our community. Exactly. So, you know, this is like the family that we choose. You know, it doesn't get any better. That's true. Yeah. It is. It's the family we choose. That's cute. I like that a lot. Oh, thank you. Hey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> write that um, one down. I'll write that in my book for you. Yeah, thank you. We're the yeah, because, you know, we are in total control of choosing what we want around us. And here we are, people. We're this family. We're this, And we're building a community, a life, laughter, happiness community. With, we're going to have so many resources to help everybody. I mean, we yeah. already have enough to help them, but direct them, but... The resources, meaning all of these wonderful shows, they could just listen to any time, and yeah, it will uplift yeah. them. I mean, who doesn't learn something? Every time we do a show, we're learning something. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I want to learn something new every day, and I do. And it's usually a lot more than one thing. And it's not yeah. always on the show, but I like to bring it to the show. And talk about it. So, you mm-hmm. know, yeah, I mean, it's like an amazing journey, and we're doing this together. I can't think of anything better, you know? Me neither. Um, yeah. And, uh, okay. Now, the next one is the sacral, and that would be down at the base of your spine where it does that little curve, like mm-hmm. the tailbone area. And then, you know, um, on the front, it would be, like, between the belly button and the bikini line. So it's kind of like in that, if you were to envision a slice. So it encompasses um, the emotional body, sensuality, and creativity. And it's the color of orange um, is associated with that. So let's see where you are with that. Uh, okay, while well, we're doing a small circle... It's slowly getting bigger, and it's almost doing the um the horizontal. Okay, now it's doing the horizontal and the spinning on an angle, and that's good. But it was very slow to take off. So I'm feeling, but it was steady. It was steadily taking off. So I'm feeling like your emotions. And your creativity and feeling like you got sexy back is um, going to be slow at first because of the, the physical process. It has to be like, you know, slow and steady wins the race, which nobody likes to hear, but that's kind of how it does. And as you are going through the process, your emotions are going to pick up because you're going to see progress. And you are going to see your creativity bloom because it already has and that's why this is open but it's just gonna just skyrocket because you know I don't I don't want to say you're limited physically because that I don't like put you know definitive vocabulary in there that that sounds like there's a definite point you know a to b and we're going to measure this and quantify it. You really can't do that. But what is happening is you're not at your peak 
we all know that. I mean, you more than anybody else. We only know that because you said that. You can't see it. And, <laughs> it's okay. you know, it's not yeah, like you're like, you. hey, look at this part of my ass right here. You could do that. <laughs> but, you know, it's not like you're doing that, you know. <laughs> oh, so, through those. yeah, man, I, I just dropped the, the thing on the floor, but that's okay. Um, But I was laughing so much. But, uh-huh. you know, you're going to... Yes, you're going to be able to um, have more of the balance of the inner, the emotional, the the drive toward doing other positive things that you, you're you starting to get under your feet right now to do, and a lot of them haven't presented themselves yet. It's like you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg, but there's a huge iceberg there of really cool stuff that is being put in motion for you. I want to release my endorphins. Oh, you will. You'll find ways. Um, Stretching. Stretching and I heard help. Because when you said that, you go, you want to get your sexy back. Sometimes, like, yeah, you're not releasing the right endorphins. And um, so that's what this is going to help me do because it's going to help me Getting my chakras cleansed, you do many things. You can write a list, you know. I I can write down little things that you tell me. I'm not doing it now. When I listen to my chakra cleanse, when I listen to it back, write down notes, get your list, and make a plan. So, A, there you have it, what you said. Your fear is gone because you know you're taking care of it, and it's going to be taken care of because you've made your first step. Then, do start doing the exercise programs that is not going to hurt your groin. Start to get those other muscles stronger. That's going to make you do your stretches and breathing, and that's going to re- start releasing the endorphins. Yeah, and I say also, I don't know if you like them, but cashews can help raise them. Dark chocolate can help raise them. That's oh. Great. What yeah. else? Cashews, then, dark chocolate, or what else? That, whether it's with partner or without, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, I like it together. I do. I like yeah, it. Exactly. I haven't gotten cashews for a long time, though. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to think, what else do they say? Um, yeah, I mean, the deep breathing exercises, <laughs> that helps with it. But, um, yeah, I mean, these are all good things. And, okay. you know, so, yeah. And, you know, it's like it feels like for me when I'm doing physical therapy, it's like, oh, my gosh, this is the dumbest thing. I could be doing this right now, but I can't. But then you realize that I'm strengthening them in ways that I, I haven't thought to do before. So this is different. It's yeah. Like, you know, the core, the core strengthening stuff that, you figure, oh, I got this, but really, your back isn't going to hurt as much if your if your core is strong, and you don't have to do strenuous stuff to do your core. It it's just kind of repetitive, and sometimes it's uncomfortable, but it's not supposed to hurt. That's so, true. Yeah, yeah. There's and a lot of things I can do that I'm not going to affect the groin area. Yeah, yeah, and so. There's a lot. I mean, it takes, and you've got the creativity, and you've got the research tools, and and you can do that. But, you know, obviously, if you can get physical therapy, that would be ideal, but not everybody can. But, you know, just, you know, start with the very basic stuff, um, and it'll seem really mundane and stupid because your way, you know, is like, okay, learning to take baby steps, but you've already done ballroom dancing. You know, but it, it's it's still it's what your body needs right now is the that's what I was going to say. And you said it, baby. I was just I almost said that at the same time. Baby steps, and it's fine. Hey. Baby steps. I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of like a it's like a do over, a start over. It's it's you know it's not bad. It's not good. It just back is back to basics. And, and it's okay. Mhm. You know, this is a new reality right now, and 
it's temporary. Just keep reminding yourself, this is only temporary. Okay. Yeah. And um, let me see. Did I go in there? Yeah, I'm feeling that anxiety. But, yeah, like you said, as you write down and you come in and you make the fold and you go through the steps, it's going to be like, you're going to be focused on all the positive things and that uncertainty is just going to not exist when you, when you see yourself taking the steps. Okay. So, awesome. Yeah. And, you know, everything's going to blossom and soar into the direction that it's supposed to for a whole person, for the whole Barbara Moore, your mind, body, and spirit. They're all connected, and you're developing them all at the same time. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Now, this went right into, like, the fact I can barely hang on to it, like, playing some color spin. So, yeah, that, that's, that's the game plan. That's the game plan. Wow, and it changed that much in just talking to you? That, that, chain, that pendulum yeah. changed that much? Yeah, yeah, because I, I was going through and cleansing it out while we were talking about it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. And I, I don't want to take the credit for it. It's just I'm opening up myself more for God to be able to direct it because I'm not in charge. I mean, that would be the ego in a way. I'm not, I'm not in charge, and I know it, and I'm able to say it. Because it's the truth. I'm just here. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, the solar plexus is the other one, the next one, third. That is between the belly button and, like, the bottom of the rib cage um, in the front, like the sternum, like, in between area. Um, that is our, that's yellow. That's our personal power, our self-esteem, warrior energy, and the power of transformation. And let's see. Let's see where you are with this one. Oh, good, good. This is a nice, steady, healthy. It's like a diagonal type propeller. Um, it's not like going crazy fast, but it's going very fast and very steady. And let's see what happens when I go into it further. Wow. You are a powerhouse. What's this mean? What part is it again? This is the solar pulses, the personal power. Yeah. The color yellow, warrior energy, power of transformation. You are a powerhouse. You are determined. You manifest. I mean, if you wanted to manifest um, anything, you can literally do it. Wow, you, okay. You are very direct and straightforward. You know what where you want to be. You are very, very in tune with yourself. Your personal power and your self-esteem, it's like you can get knocked down, but you're getting right back up and you're going to, show yourself and everybody else that this is how you do it. And you're not afraid to say what's happening and going on and that, you know, you're not afraid to ask for assistance when you need it. You're not afraid to tell us on the show how you're really doing. And you're very genuine. And that's what people love about you. They can relate to you. If they're in a, you know, maybe they had a car accident or maybe, they had an illness, they're like, well, here's Barbara. She's going through this stuff, and, that, you know, she's got, like, this plan in place, and it's working. Look at her. She's happy. You know, look at Barbara. She's not letting this get her down. Right. And so, my God, lady, you have the strength of a million people with your determination, your warrior energy saying, damn it, I don't care. I'm going to do what they say that I need to do to get better. I'm not going to let this 
drag me down. I'm not going to feel bad for myself. I'm picking myself up. And whatever this brings, it brings. And I'm ready to bring it. Never quit. Right. And you my, um, my, yeah, my uncle, Uncle Tim Moore, he has a license plate. It says never quit. That might as well be your mantra. Because I thought I know. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, like seriously, yeah. And your power of transformation, you have the power between your ears and in your heart to literally move a mountain. Wow. Not very many people have that focus. Not many people are able to focus that desire. Not very many people are able to manifest it. Because when you see something that you want, you go for it. You go for it with all you've got. You don't quit until you know you've got it. And, you know, I think it it feels foreign to you when you see people that quit because you're like, you don't understand it because you will doggedly go after something until you've mastered it. Yeah. And that's a lot of the fun part, too. Is the way there. Yeah, the challenge. And overcoming the challenge. And then it leads to new ones, new opportunities, new challenges. And you're like, bring it on. I can do this. Yeah. You have that fire. It, yeah. You have it reminds that. me of the Naked and Afraid interview we did. It's like the, they enjoyed the challenge. It, that's the journey yeah. there. I mean. Yeah, let's not lose that. Yeah. That is life. That's fun. That's getting there. It's well, part that's of the, fun. the challenge you've got. You've got that challenge right now with your situation, and it's not mm-hmm. fun right now. Wow. But you are going to be coming into the fun part where you start to see the progress. And, you know, um, you're not going to go from yeah. zero to 60 miles an hour, but, you know, Olympic you know, champions can't do that either if they have something happen. They have to take the time to rehabilitate. Well, you know, look at all these opportunities that are coming for you that you can do while you're recovering. Because you have all these talents and you have all these brains and you have all these abilities and all these gifts and all these, this, you know, how you can manifest any darn thing you set your mind to this is no different. This is no different. Wow. And you, you are so welcome. I know you were going to thank me. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. Oh, so. yeah. Definitely. I mean, <laughs> for heaven's sake. Say yeah. Oh, but, my yeah. goodness. I, well, you know what? My mind started wandering to things that, okay, wow, I'm, I haven't been thinking really about know. this that I want and that that I want and this that I want. I, no, my mind started to like totally drift off on things I wanted to manifest well, you know that. When, yeah, just take it step by step and you're going to start making leaps and bounds. And, you know, when you listen to the show again, write those things down because you'll be able to have those come to mind again at that spot. And you'll be like, oh, yeah, I can do that and this. And then this is, you know, could lead to that and then you know if I contact this person you know so yeah go with it run with it I mean maybe not physically that way but you know let your fingers do the running you know right let your your brain go to places that you didn't have time for before or that you didn't think of before because you're limitless the only thing that Mm -hmm. can limit you is yourself Okay, wow. Remember that. Okay. The only thing standing between you and your goals is you. You eliminate standing between them and you go with it, then there's no reason that you can't do it. And sometimes life shows you a different direction. You end up accomplishing something different than what you started out with. But that's okay. Because that was where you were led and that was where you were meant to be. Okay, wow. I'm seeing things like connecting as you speak. I'm collecting a lot of dots right now. Good, good. Because, I mean, 
I I am oh my gosh, girl. Like I am so excited for where you're going. I mean, it is very exciting for me to be a part of this, to be a part of, you know, your process, to be a part of your journey. I mean, it is just totally enthralling and exciting for me. You know, to you. to be your friend and to work with you and to witness this and it's just like wow. And you know, really when I do someone chakras, especially someone that I feel so connected to, it's like it feels like and even when I, I've started doing my own, it feels like I'm getting a roadmap for life. You know, roadmap for the soul. Yeah. Like an overall big picture. And it's nice to know when we're heading in the right direction, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. I always think that when we're helping people, that exact same thing. And when you know you're heading in the right direction, you feel like uh, a calming sense comes over you. Of at least, yeah. at least I know I'm going in the right direction. So keep on plugging away in that direction. No, it totally mm-hmm. it is clarifying to people it clarifies this chakra healing really clarifies brings a lot of clarity good good yeah i mean every day brings clarity to me with my you know different experiences and different people i come across and it's just i feel so incredibly blessed and if you just seen me a few years back i wasn't in that place so i mean literally anything can happen Literally That's anything. Right. I mean, we can help make literally anything happen when we're in the right place in our mind. And with, when we're trying, you know, when we're aligned with our mind, body, and soul, then then it allows the room for things to fall into place. Um, it does. Yeah. So that solar plexus is now doing that airplane propeller, going nuts, and it's hard to hang on to. And, wow. Um, yeah. And uh, I'm going to check out your heart chakra, and that's green. And that is the opening of healing, compassion, your capacity to love. And that has, you know, it doesn't like conflict, so it likes balance. That likes, you know, that likes positive, you know, people and surroundings and circumstances. And, you know, um, so it's very good for our heart and our other um, chakras and bodily functions to seek out the positive people. And the people that are draining their energy, that, you know, are demanding that, maybe are condescending and looking down their nose at everyone else. You know? Try to oh my gosh. People. Remember when I had my interview on at Elkie's birthday and I was trying to get some answers from that one guest in the beginning. The reason oh. I was doing that, it seemed like it might have been a waste of time, but I wanted to talk to that person because I felt such this negative energy that I wanted to try to figure this out. Well, that whole night, she was like a new friend to Elkie. That whole night she was like an evil serpent going to one saying this and whispering something and going to the next person and causing havoc there and going to the next person. The next day, continuing calling the birthday girl up saying, oh, do you know what this friend said and that friend said and this she goes, I'm going to have to cut you out of my life. You're not positive. You, All of those are my best girlfriends. We love each other. We're there for each other. We just were trying to have fun. You come in and you, all you did was try to cause havoc. You brought evil into the uh, party and I'm unfriending you and blocking you from every part of my life. Oh, God bless Elsie. Oh, God yes. bless her. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that perfect. girl was even trying to call, I mean, trying to talk to Priscilla and get her to, uh, who knows what she was saying about me and trying to befriend her privately as an adult oh. woman. Was, yes, oh, it was really so weird. So many levels. Plus, 
I'm sorry, yes. lady. You don't know who you're dealing with here. You know, so someone's yeah. 12, but she's going on 30. You know, hello, lady. You have no clue. Priscilla's already on you. Yeah. Oh, like, wow. wow. That's yeah. True. That was the weirdest thing. And so the next day when Elkie told me that I blocked that person too. And that is what you're saying is like, we want to surround ourselves with positive people and the most positive things we can. And our heart needs that. But I was wondering, I was going to ask you, Kelly, does every heart want that? I mean, why would she do that? Is that her heart? Is that like a black heart? heart? Is that the evil heart? Yeah. Her heart is one of jealousy. Yeah, jealous of everybody there. Jealous and bitter. And when she sees something she doesn't have, and that, honest to God, it feels like she is envious that you have this close circle of friends, you know, all of you loving each other, supportive of each other, that she is envious of that and wants to, at all costs, try to turn you against each other. And it's like, look, lady, you know, these women have this bond over this many decades. You know, somebody coming in and whispering about the other one is really not going to work. You're really in the <laughs> wrong place, you know? Hello. You know, exactly. And have it. Yeah. It, but so, also, Kelly, it also, listen to this, so, so weird, because I just happened to talk to a friend the next day that didn't go to the party and I was saying this was so weird I haven't had this happen to I don't remember when it was so in your face very evil and and she said well who is this person I'm like okay um I'm going on here and I'm blocking her right now it's this person they go that person I think it was 10 years ago maybe less slept with my husband whoa and I go, she knew yeah. you were married to him? She goes, yes, I was. I went out with her a couple times, and she, she knew that was my husband, and she slept with him. Oh. Uh, this person yeah. is this evil. Is she is, and I'm glad that you blocked her, because when, you know, I was sensing at that party that, oh, my Lord, what is wrong with this woman? She is just... <laughs> Yeah. Overbearingly, you know, just dark. And, the, I mean, she stood out to me like, you know, a serpent of darkness among, you know, godly people. It's like, what is the matter with her trying to come in there? And, and I mean, she has no good intentions and nothing nice to say. And it was like, Mm-mm. lady, do you feel like you don't fit in because you really don't fit in? And it's kind of, you're envious because you don't fit in, but you're causing it yourself. Uh, causing it yourself you know? because you were invited and you could have come and enjoyed and made some very nice new friends and nurture those friendships and be grateful. But no, just jealous. I'm glad that I told you about that and to hear what you felt because you were right on yeah you felt it oh wow and oh my gosh yeah because before you know I said I'm going on the show would anybody want to you know say hi or you know ask a question or two oh yeah she wanted to and then I'm trying to get something out of her and then she did this on purpose she did that on purpose to just say no no, 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 no acceptance, no help with your show. No, 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 because now I'm going to be mean and nasty and, you know, not helpful at all on purpose. And she was try- now this is the part that really gets me is she's trying to do it under the guise of Christianity. I'm sorry. I don't remember Jesus teaching that lesson. Do you? Right. No. I mean, it's nope. like, wait a minute, lady. You know, you're saying you're you're above this because you're godly. Well, uh, none of her actions or her words were of godly nature. None. Zilch, none. nada. And it's like, awesome. okay, yeah. Don't try to hide behind the Bible because, you know, that is just really not where this is coming from. 
Because we all know, if, if we read the Bible, Jesus taught love and acceptance and non-judgment. It's not for us to judge other people here. That's and right. that was what she was doing. She was doing all the things that he said not to do. And, you know, trying to divide the group and put people against each other and destroy something so beautiful. It's like, she, well, no wonder she didn't fit in. Hello? What a way live. What a horrible existence. She must really be miserable, which I'm not trying to, you know, gather any sympathy for her because if she didn't want to be this way, she wouldn't be. But she loves to stir up the pot and see what floats to the top, and she likes to cause drama and walk away and snicker about it. I mean, that if that's not evil, then I don't know what is. I because know, that's she's so not, strange. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, she, she's not, like, going to kick a puppy in front of somebody and be obvious. She's going to do all this really devious under-the-surface stuff. And it's like, you know, when you're around people like us and your friends who are perceptive and not evil in any way like that, we're going to pick up on it. And she underestimated everyone. Yep, she sure did. That is hitting the nail on the head right there. She really underestimated everyone. Yeah, it's like, I'm sorry, lady, if you're going to try that kind of thing, you need to pick a lower vibrational, you know, group of people because, you know, she just, her vibrations were so low. It was like, you know, I was just thinking serpent woman. And I like Yeah. <laughs> you like, like Barbara, get her off. Snake. What's going on? But, I mean this might as well have been Medusa. I was like, Good grief, you know? So yeah. I, and so yeah. does she like that type of a person, do they have the normal heart that everybody has or do they have a heart that because you were saying your heart is this is the chakra that wants to be around positive, it doesn't like conflict. Does her heart like the, that is her heart is she just messed heart, up and everybody's heart's the same messed up. yeah I mean we all have the same organs but she feeds off she gets an adrenaline rush off of it off of drama where the rest of us are like we have to ooh icky feeling and try to get away from it is this the she heart chakra that. that you're talking about yep we're yeah. on that one yeah okay, you're on the heart so, okay, two. yeah yep yeah, so that's, you know, she's she's got a really icky heart. Like, um, if you think, like, she makes the Grinch look like Jolly Foot Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, seriously, it's like, I, I mean, wow. Yeah, I just, I was totally skeeped out. I was like, you I just felt like the more she had her mouth open, the more she was digging her own hole. And I'm like, well, okay, well, what did you do this? <laughs> you <know? laughs> uh, yeah, open mouth, insert foot. Okay, yeah, keep going, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was interesting. Oh. Um, Let's see where, oh, you're, oh, my gosh, Barbara. I'm doing your heart chakra right now. And this is, like, your absolute finest so far, your absolute strongest. Even more, mm-hmm. even, this is starting out stronger than when we got the other ones to where they needed to be. Wow. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh, you have absolutely beautiful heart. Your intentions are all in the right places. You don't have a selfish bone in your body. And, I mean, you're not somebody that, I mean, once somebody crosses you, you have them cross off your head. They don't exist. But that's because you know where you're going. You know who you are. You know that you want positive people in your life. And you know what you have to bring to the table. And you don't play those games. And you don't want people who do in your life. And that's 
is something we can all take lessons about. You know what I was thinking when I first started the show, what I really learned or that just came to my attention was if you go through life and you have decisions, because a lot of people don't know what to do and what decision to go with, if you just make the decision that is going to be good for everyone involved, the goodness, the right decision is uh what is not going to hurt, what is uh, going to only be the good for all, that takes out so many other options because the other options of the decision you can make may have a negative, be not a good, good for all. So that's how I've been living since I started. Yes, doesn't that make decision-making so much easier if you have a good heart and if your will is with good intention? Absolutely. You can't go wrong. And when you feel that peace in your heart, you know that you're doing the right thing. You know that it's coming from God. You know you have clarity. You know that you have the support of your guides and your angels and archangels and God and universe, everything's going to back you up because you're doing it for all the right reasons. You're not doing it for self-promotion, not doing it for ego, not trying to hurt anyone. And if you're looking at it like instead of how can I elevate myself, how can I do this for the greatest good? Right. That's how how I need to be put. For the greatest good. Yeah. That's how I should put it. Yeah, that's because sometimes that is right. Yeah, it's right. Like, you you know, see this heart chakra like this. That makes me feel good. Oh gosh, I I could just stay there forever because it's so beautiful and pure. And I mean, you and your friends all have that in common, and it's just the most beautiful. I mean, oh my goodness, I'm getting chills. Just you know. Being in contact with you with that. I mean, I'm like, wow. And, Thank you know, you. I don't get those very often. You're welcome. I mean, it's just like when I get them, it's like I need to pay attention, you know. It's not a common thing. Uh-huh. Um, but, you know, it's common in your circle because the people that aren't there with the right intentions, they weed themselves out rather quickly. As we've seen. As we see. And so that's so great that we had been working with Elsie and you were working with Elsie because she was, no question about it, person causing problems out. Yeah, absolutely. And that is for the greater good, isn't it? Yes, that's right. And I also have a little prayer that I say I keep it on the refrigerator of how you send the negativity back so you're not using it you're not using your gift and your intuitive gift to hurt them you're just sending back to them what they just gave you and that will go back to them and be off of you yes yeah yeah, exactly. It's kind of like when we're kids and we do that, I'm rubber, your glue, whatever you say, bounces off of me and goes back to you. It's sort of that concept, but we didn't really think that that was real. But, yeah, I mean, it's the same type of thing that, you know, if they're sending good things our way, wouldn't we want them to go back to them? Well, it's the same way with negative things. We're not trying to hurt them. We're just trying to not have them ourselves, not take them on. Oh, yes. And but I, you know, okay. But I, you know, but I was yeah. thinking, I was thinking one more thing on top of that that it does. I think it protects you because at first I was like, oh my gosh, this person will stop at nothing and lying and uh, until Elsie called and said, oh, she was doing that to everybody and I'm blocking her now. And I said, wow, but. Now that's even worse if she's doing that to everybody, like, is she going to go off and start to spread lies because now she's going to notice everybody blocked her? So then I said that prayer because 
that prayer sends everything back to her, which I think can stop her, which can, like, you know, she's going to be confused with so much negativity that came back to her. She's not going to have enough power or energy to continue bothering us. Is that, yeah. could that be making sense? Yeah. Could that happen? Okay. Yeah, it, it binds everything to her that she put out. So that that's going to keep her busy, you know. It's it's not doing it maliciously; it's doing it for <laughs> protection, you know. For a while. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be busy for a while. Yeah, she's yeah. It's like, oh, it's not so much fun when it's coming back on you, is it? Well, I'm sorry. Maybe you shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Or, yeah. or she's saying, hey, whatever I did didn't help at all. It just did not work. They're not get, feeling any pain. And all my evil doing did nothing to them, so maybe they just give up and give up hurting you, give up spreading more gossip. Yeah, unfortunately that person lives off of it, so they'll just find another target, but you know, eventually their welcome is going to be run out everywhere because, you know, it's, it's going to become obvious that she's the one starting it all. And then people mm-hmm. will be like, well, I don't think I'm here at my party. And, exactly. you know, people won't even have to talk about it, you know, what she did because she makes it plainly obvious after a short period of time. So, you know, her invitations will start to dry up. Okay, good. So, and I feel like not worrying about that person anymore. I checked Priscilla's phone. She didn't secretly, like, contact her or get her phone number or anything. I mean, all these things I had to check after that, it was really weird. So, Oh, yeah. Grown woman doing that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, okay, I thought people left that back in second grade, but apparently not all of us have caught up to the program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And, you know, and and she's attracted to money and power, and it, you know, because it's things that she feels she lacks, but that doesn't make an excuse for it. I mean, you know, it really doesn't. I mean, you can feel bad for her, but it's like there's really nothing that's going to make her, you know, um, what what is it Karen Page says? There's only one truth. And then she also says that some people would rather be right in their mind than to do the right thing. I mean, Karen said something like that. I'm paraphrasing it terribly, but I, I think, no, you know. No, but I remember. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. Like, yeah. She, we yeah. could ask her. Like, she has so many great ones, doesn't she? Oh, she really does. Yeah. 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 You're coming up I with would, a few good ones yourself, Kelly. <laughs> oh, thank you. You did that one earlier. Um, that was so funny. I can't you. remember it now. What, Johnny? Okay, we're, we're, no. We have like about um, we have about twenty one minutes left, but after that, it'll be it'll it'll run into an extra an hour. So. Um, okay. All right. We're good. Do you still yeah, want to do the? Do you still want to do the God of meditation after this, or do you just? No, you have to. Everybody's wait. Everybody tunes in for that. Oh my gosh! Now I feel yeah. selfish. People probably tuned in to no, do that the no, first no. hour. Oh. I'm sorry, people. No, you know what, Barbara? Don't worry about it, because I know that we have a lot of listeners that really love hearing us talk, and they really identify with us, and they learn things. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. No, don't worry about it. Don't don't apologize, because I have people that listen to the show that thank me when we, you know, let's say we have a guest that doesn't show up, and we banter among ourselves. And they mm-hmm. learn things about us, and they feel attached to us because they learn who we are and how we view things and how we think about them and what we apply. And the same thing is happening here. So, you know, yeah. I'm not worried about it. Nobody's going to get angry. And, you know, okay. they, if, if they have to go to bed, they can tune in later, you know, and okay. be like, 
you know, they might be like, okay, skip this, skip this, skip this, go here, okay, there we are, guided meditation, you know. So I'm not worried about it. This is all good. Okay, and I agree. Some of those shows where somebody canceled, those are some of my fa- Those have turned out to be some of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, that's what brings us into being a family is we're mm-hmm. all connected, and we all know where the other one's coming from. Even if it's somebody tuning in from Kansas, they can feel like they're part of us because they are. And they yeah. are getting to know us. Getting to know us. So okay, good. Because I don't need um, to be feeling any guilt during my chakra cleanse. Oh, goodness, no. No. And everybody knows what you're going through and is, are pulling to you and supportive. They, I mean, I've had so many people gush, and I really should tell you these things more, about how they absolutely adore you and what you're I've doing. I've never heard one compliment of, I've never seen or heard one person, well, I've, my people that I've known say, oh, good show. I listen to you all the time. You're a, you're very, you're good. Well, once, a, uh, you're a good talker. Uh, <laughs> you're a good talker. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, we got everything oh. right there. Yeah. It was sweet, though, in their own way. So, but thank you, Kelly, because your friends and followers you've had before I came on, and for me to hear that some of them say this, it makes me feel very good. So thanks, you guys, for putting out some positive comments to Kelly. Thank you. Oh, but it's true. It's, It's like everybody is just, you know, the ones that tell me, they're like, oh, my gosh, Barbara's so open about things. We absolutely love that. We love that she feels comfortable enough to let us into her world, to let us oh, into her heart. Do they say anything mind. about me? Yeah, they do. And they're <laughs> like, sweet. Jonathan works so hard. And, I mean, the, you know, you're such a creative genius and you care so much to try to make sure everyone's happy. So, I mean, this is where we are. It's like this positivity going around. It can't help but be contagious, you know, to have positivity go out to everyone in our community and listening and, you know, doing things behind the scenes to help us out. It can't help but just grow. So what else is it going to do? Right. And it's a bond. That's true. It only goes it's all bonding. Yeah. And there's there's only one way it can go is up and with positivity. If you're, that's all you're putting yeah. out, there's only one way. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What, Jonathan? I didn't say anything. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're on the throat chakra. And that one's like a turquoise color. And that is the ability to manifest and express your truth in the world. And, boy, doing this energy work lately, I get really warm. But that's part of doing the energy work. So it's like... What do you get, Kelly? What did you say? You get really what? I get really warm. Warm, wow. Yeah, that's part of the energy work. Like, if you were a lower vibrational frequency, like if you were kind of a dark person inside, my I would start to feel cold. But you instead are very high vibrational, and that helps with mine. You know, I go in and feel yours, and that makes it really warm feeling. That's and I was... It's like that with Brian. It's like that with yours. And it's just like, wow, I'm becoming, you know, more able to pick up on it. And my hands are literally pulsing right now. And wow. slightly, they're extremely warm and they're slightly damp from just the tiniest little bit of perspiration. And I just feel like somebody kicked on the heat in here. And it's not in a weird way. It's just like every bit of energy is just totally circulating to the max. And it's a really like awake feeling. 
and I was having trouble earlier with my solar plexus, and it was like people were really trying to pull on both of us, you know, Brian and I, and it's like now there's this protectiveness around us, and doing your chakras has helped out my solar plexus because, you know, I have to move your energy through me and I give it back to you. Like when we work on a chakra that needs it, then I'm sending that positive energy back through you to your chakra. Mm. And wow. it's like, yeah, it's like, mm. so I'm generating my own plus on the ones mm. like the heart chakra that were so beautiful and so powerful. It's like, Wow. You know? Good. I didn't know that's so how that works, where my energy came in and you gave it back. I I didn't know how that worked. Yeah. Just like, you know, the images and the feelings um, and the, you know, what I'm, what I'm saying when I'm seeing and feeling things, you know, those are things I observe and I don't attach you know, like my ego to it. So I'm able to see it more clearly and to let it pass through in the way and back to you. Oh, I love that. So thank you. Um, so let's see what this throat one. Oh, goodness. Yeah, this is doing that airplane propeller and it's hard to even hang on to. So, yeah, that throat one. You have no problem communicating um, and manifesting, expressing your truth. That is right there with your heart because you follow that. that, And you follow your intuition because we're going into the third eye, which is kind of like a, um indigo color. I'm, I'm guessing what? your third eye is going to be spot on. So let me see. The third eye is intuition, patterns of learning, and memory skill set. Well, let's see where you are. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting chills with this one. It's um, going around so fast it's actually putting out some air like a fan. <laughs> so, yeah. It's like the flame propeller. Yeah. So you're in I've never heard you bottom. say that before. I know. I hadn't had it do that before. That was weird. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, we have another first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So, wow. Yeah. So, so far, your things that were not working in the best way, and I don't, I don't want to say anything bad, but were the ones that were the lower chakras where it has to do with Injury and overcoming, and, you know, when you start working your steps toward it, that's just, I mean, the fear and all that stuff just melts away because there's no reason for it anymore. There's no fear of the unknown because things are becoming known. When you can see it, you know what they are, you can deal with it and get it done. So the crown chakra is the next one. And that's the access to the higher states of consciousness, open to what is beyond understanding. It's our direct line to God, universe, source, whatever you want to call it. And it's like this beam of light that goes up into the heavens, like to heaven, where you're connected that way. It's like a huge antenna where if you imagine your feet with the roots going into the earth, Okay, I like to imagine that. Yeah, so it's like you're a big tree of light. So that's pretty cool. Wow. Big and your lips. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my gosh, because I have a tree out in my front. Now, it's the most beautiful old tree, 50 years old probably or more, with these roots. And I just think it's such a wonderful symbol. Right at my desk, I open my window, and there is this beautiful tree, yes. I will send you a picture of this tree. Oh, and they take such good care of it. Down on it, that's like the crown. Yeah. Yeah. And tell me about the tree. How the 
Can trees protect you? Yeah. There, there are some things called sacred trees. People that believe that they are sacred, it can. I had one at an apartment complex that um, I felt very close to. I feel very close to the two main trees in my yard. And, in fact, that's where Carl chose to be buried was underneath the one in the front yard. And, wow. you know, yeah, they are very sacred. And if you remember, you know, obviously we're extremely connected to them because what we exhale is what they're inhaling and what they exhale is what we're inhaling. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. So we are extremely connected. If we had no trees, there'd be no us. Wow. I mean, I took some nice pictures of trees when it was night. I'll do some in the day of this tree. It is right in front. And they, I know it's a special tree. I want to ask them about it because there's sprinklers set and they spray right at it. They zoom right at it. A lot of water throughout the night. And wow. they're taking care of this tree. I mean, I don't see a lot of trees surrounded with sprinklers that are directed right at it. No. Anyway. No, there's something I mean, special yeah. about that. And, you know, if you can, if you need grounding, it's it's very good to go barefoot up to the tree, maybe give it a hug, maybe just sit with your back against it and your feet flat on the ground, you know, with your knees bent and have that and envision your feet bringing roots into the ground, bringing roots in with the roots of the tree. And they go down, down, down. And that's how you can get grounded. Okay. I've heard that too. And I even told Priscilla, you can stand towards it, but mostly it's powerful when you have your back to the tree and you do your meditation or prayer and sit or stand. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're barefoot with the earth. Okay. Barefoot. Yeah, okay. that's the direct motion. So okay, I'm guessing the sound's going to be really good, but let's check. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this wow. is like going like super. So, yeah, um, any of your intuition, don't second guess it. Um, just go with it because okay, you are like a super clear antenna. Um. You're getting all, you're tuned into all the channels. You're getting all the good stuff. And good things are coming. And, you know, just make your plan. And, you know, one of the things I love that Karen says is um, God plans. Or, no, we plan and God unplans. But it's like, you know, oh, yeah. Brian says, you know, we plan and God laughs, which is kind of the same thing. You know, he's like, oh, uh-huh. yeah, you think you're in control, huh? Yeah. So it's like, you know, when we are aligning ourselves with God, we're aligning ourselves with the greater good, we're thinking outside ourselves, then he helps us manifest those things because it's for the greater good. Like how can they not happen as long as we believe? And we do. We're not just saying, we're putting it in your hands, you know, take care of me. We're doing the steps toward it ourselves, too. Yes. That's, yes. That's have to take care of ourselves. I mean, that is part of it because he gives us the brain to do so. Yeah. Yeah. And the intuition, if we listen, and we can be, you know, calm ourselves to be able to get there. And get ourselves out of the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, a lot of times we get in our own way and we get frustrated. Um, the root chakra. Let me check that real quick. Yeah, wow. That one is going like crazy. Sacral, that one's going like crazy. Um, solar plexus is going like crazy. Heart chakra, same thing. Throat chakra, let's see here. That was trying to jump for a second. So, yeah, that one. What is happening? Okay, there we go. There were a few, like, fault starts, but then it starts going, like, crazy. So, you know, 
with that one, it's working on the ability to manifest because you have no problem expressing your truth in the world. It's just, you know, knowing that, you know, how to go about manifesting it, what you really, okay. really want. And no one You know what, what I what think my problem is, is doubt, like doubt, like, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe I shouldn't, you know, ask for that because that might be just too much to ask for. Well, why not? It, you're supposed to manifest what you want, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, because if if you don't, if you're not clear on what you want, how is it supposed to happen? Exactly. Because I used to be much clearer, and it would happen. And then you start to have things happen in life. You get older, and you're like, well, maybe that's not going to happen because I'm older. No, because we haven't learned everything yet there is to learn, and maybe we haven't learned it any other way, and this is the time to learn patience, or this is the time to develop other areas too, or, you know, it's, it's always a learning process. Or maybe it's, you know, there's, always, you know, room to learn more. That's true. That's true. And that's what makes life exciting too. I mean, can you imagine? Yeah. If, like sometimes I just have to read something. I'm just, I need it. I need to read. And then I do. And it's satisfying because it's like, that is your natural, uh, you're born with this. You want to learn. You have a yearning to learn. And so oh, what if we didn't yeah. have that? What if, we, okay, I know everything. Well, that would be missing in your life, this yearning to learn something new. And that would be so boring. It would. It really would be very unsatisfying. And, you you know, and, and any time I've ever thought that I knew, then it's like, <laughs> here's another learning opportunity for you. You know, ah, I love and that. it's like, oh, okay, I feel humbled now. Thank you. <laughs> you know? yep. yep. I got a lot more to learn now that I learned this. You know. <laughs> yeah. That's I mean. True. Yeah. I mean, gosh. You know, if we truly did know everything, it would be like, um, okay, so I get up tomorrow for what? <laughs> you know, if I already know right. everything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so the throat one is is really now working really well. Um, and the third eye is like going like crazy. And the crown is going like crazy. So, yeah, how do you feel? Oh, my gosh. You know, I think what it does most for me is it brings me clarity. Good. Because uh, all of the things in my mind are just kind of up uh, around, just bouncing around almost in the air. And then I get this done by you. And remember I was saying I'm connecting a lot of dots right now. So yeah. it just, yeah. And it brings you to a place where you're focusing, really, you're uh, visualizing the area that you're going over, obviously. How can you not? So you're visually, you're visualizing it, and then you're cleansing, and I'm thinking about it. It's give, getting so much energy to that region. You're telling me what it all means. Then I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I'm connecting this dot with that, and okay, I am on the right path, or that's a little bit of the wrong thinking. Stop that right now and, you know, continue to do this a little more. Oh, my gosh. So if somebody really pays a lot of attention to their chakra reading and let you do your magic, it really works. I mean, it just, oh, wow, it's just amazing. It really is. And how what a perk it is that we have this always on the show. So we can refer to it. We can refer back to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. That is a really good point. Because, so, you know, I would take notes and stuff. Um, but obviously when you're getting your own done, it's not like you're going to be like, oh, wait a minute, let me write that down, you know. So right. it's just like imperative to be able to have the ability to listen to it again. And when you hear it, you're going to hear something different you didn't pick up on before. And it's kind of like, you know, I don't like, I'm not going to, you know, compare the reading to the Bible because obviously I'm not on the God level, but um, what, you know, you can read a passage and a year later read the same one and get a totally different meaning. 
because you're in a mm-hmm. different place in your life. And that's what you needed to hear at the time. That, that is, is so like, true. Yeah. Kelly, have you ever done a person where they're really down, really uh, just some really horrible things are going on in their life, and then you are you said that you take the energy in and you give it back? I mean, how do you feel yourself after you're taking after in so much bad what energy? After yeah, what happened um, with Johnny? That's um, the story. No. What, what, was he depressed at the time? Yeah. Yeah, it felt like nothing was going right. And, you know, uh, there were money issues. And it just, it felt like, you know, he was entirely zapped of, you know, like good things happening. They just were not happening because um, this is a really fascinating example. Um, Tim is my friend um, since like 2007. And, He's the one that taught me how to hone the energy work, you know, and then I was able to learn more and, you know, do my personal touches with it. And, like, I would explain what was happening, like, the first time that we did one for Jonathan because Tim was doing the cleansing and I was connected to Tim and to Jonathan. So I could tell, okay, now Tim's doing this chakra, and this is what this does. And meanwhile, Tim wasn't grounding himself because he was absorbing the energy himself and and taking in the negative energy and then sending out the positive where I like to let it pass through into the ground and then put, you know, positive in its place, you know, because I don't want to absorb it. And awesome. Yeah, thank you. But when Tim did, it was like it was like the exorcist. And I'm I'm I mean his head wasn't spinning around, but he was having he was on the floor coughing his lungs out with all this nasty stuff. And wow. um, wow. he he was having seizures. So, I mean, Tim was. And then, you know, Johnny felt better, but he felt bad that Tim had to go through that. But it's Canada like, yeah. Four seizures. Four seizures. Yeah. Four seizures. He had four seizures. Yeah. Four it. seizures. Oh, well, that, oh, I thought he was just coughing. Oh, he did. He had the coughing, you know, because it, it was honestly, it felt like uh, there was a very negative presence that was trying to um, take over in, in Johnny and you know it, we had to get it rid of and in the process of that sometimes people will end up like having a lot of slum or you know stuff like that where it comes out that way and since Tim took it on himself instead of doing what you should be doing you know to do it properly um, taking on himself, then he was suffering from it, like having to expel it from himself and do like the choking on this, this thick, clear stuff, and you know, then having the seizures. And it was oh my just gosh, like, but Kelly, don't you think that if he's taking in the negative from somebody else, he's all he's also has his own negative that it's amplifying because it's on top of his own because everybody has a little bit maybe in them that is they're working through their negative energy so here he has his own negative energy is johnny's depressed negative energy was he just doing this to show you how much it could affect or does he do this it that way all the time that was how he did it all the time, and then he learned that he can't do that because it was affecting his health really bad for a while. Yeah. And so then he learned more how to ground himself and not take in that. And then, you know, now he's healthier than he's been in the last, like, 10, 20 years because, you know, he, he's not feeding the negative energy with negative energy. He's, now, was he the guy, I'm sorry I missed it, wait, is he, okay, Tim, Tim. 
he helped you learn or you were helping him? I missed that. Well, we both are light workers. We both are very energy sensitive. And he was showing me techniques. And then when we did Johnny's, at, you know, the first time, then um, he was doing the work. I was reporting what was happening. Like, he's on the heart chakra, and this is what it does. And, you know, Tim's right now doing this, and he started coughing. And he, you know, and I would, like, tell Johnny what's happening. Like, not only what Tim was doing to cleanse it, but what was happening to Tim because he was taking it on. And it's like, wow, this is really powerful stuff that, you know, if you have negative energy that's stuck, it can cause you to feel pain. It can cause you to feel, um, it can cause you to feel depressed, anxious. It can cause you to just feel hopeless and helpless. It can cause physical manifestations if it stays there too long. And, you know, it can cause all time. It can wreak a lot of havoc if it's been there a long time not being addressed. And sometimes traumas get lodged. You know, sometimes we sweep things under the rug because we have to keep going. And then we don't really deal with them properly. And then it builds up, builds up, builds up right. under the surface. Right, you like know, what happened to Wendy. Like Wendy, yeah. and she, such yeah. a strong woman. She, and then who knows, this was... We found it. It was deep, deep, deep down that she never dealt with it, and then you cleansed that out. So, yes, I remember that so specifically. That was amazing. Yeah. And so if somebody can be their complete, raw, wonderful, beautiful, cleansed self, this is doing it. I think it's doing it. If the person will do the work themselves afterwards. Exactly. Because you can have it done you know, have all the potential in the world to have great things. But if you don't feel, keep filling it with positive, then it leaves an opening for more negative to seek you and go there. Because it needs to fill with something. If you're not filling yourself with positive and addressing things, like, you know, if you need to go to trauma therapy, go to trauma therapy. If you need to, you know, If somebody has an addictive behavior or addictive personality, address that, you know, realize it, address it, work on it. You know, if you're hanging around negative people, it's kind of a given. It's going to rub off on you in in a bad way. Well, it could kill you. It It could kill you. Like Mark, he hung out with that negative person. He's like, I don't like the guy. I don't really want to hang out with him. I don't. And I'm like, why are you? Well, I don't know very many other people. Well, he got in the car with him, and that guy ended up killing him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so <laughs> if we keep ourselves positive and we have ourselves in balance, the mind, body, and spirit, because that's, you know, looking at the bigger picture, doing a chakra cleansing is really doing that, having everything in balance. And we do what we can to maintain it. If we feel off at a certain, you know, At any point, we seek it out to be helped, you know, rebalance, then, you know, it's going to have great things happen and opportunities come that you will see because you have that clarity. Where you can have opportunities knocking at your front door and not be able to see them because you're so mired in, in negativity and being too tired to do anything about it. You're stuck in the muck and mire. Yeah, and why be there if you don't have to be? I'm glad I'm we're making people this. aware of the chakra cleanse and offering it and and letting people know how important this is. Yeah, and it's not a, you know, one-hit wonder. You go and this is going to magically change your life. Well, you have to really do the work, you know, after because, it's this window of opportunity where things are lined up to be able to be worked with in the best way. And if you don't take advantage of that window, it's going to close. And then maybe 
down the road you can have another one Mm -hmm. and another one, but the results won't stick with you because you're not doing the things you needed to change in the first place. This gives people a tool to be able to do that, to have a fresh start. This isn't a cure. This is like an opening of the door. And do they want to walk through it? Do they want to do the work themselves? It's up to them. We can't make them. So, That's right. You know, this is, yeah. I mean, they have to I be ready. I thought of something. Remember you put up the pictures of some new tools because you just said tools that you got from for your chakra healing. Did you use those? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I have used those on myself. I have used those on my home and my animals and my property. And I mean, they are attuned to me like with Reiki healing. So I'm using them. And then when I get my excess stuff out of here, I'll be using that and sage and salt. And I, because I've already like chased out uh, negativity out of the house. I, I literally chased it out of the doors. I chased it into the garage and chased it out of the garage with the door open. And then, you know, but when I get rid of this stuff, because stuff harbors energy, when I get rid of this stuff, then I'm going to do a major cleanse and be done with it. That's going to be the closure. That's going to be the end. That's done at that point. Kelly, I was going to ask you if you could show us or if it is something that you could write a list of things to do because I would like to do something like that as well. And I want to do it because I just moved into this tranquil, beautiful apartment complex. I love it. But just in case, There is something out there. I want to do preventative in my new home. It's kind of like a housewarming, preventative spiritual cleansing. Is there something like that out there? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I can can definitely, you know, I can definitely write up something with the different steps to do. And, you know, um, you're doing great with the feng shui. And it's like, the other thing too is you can use crystals and gemstones and and you know place things that naturally absorb and get rid of you know negative energy. You can you know the ones that have healing and protective prop, you know properties about them because you know they everything has a vibrational frequency and um, you know obviously even things that aren't living like you know. Rocks and gemstones and, and belongings, people's belongings. Oh my goodness, those are they do, you know, Kelly, so, because I have a lot of people's belongings. I have so many that were belongings of like people that were bad in my life, mostly the exes. You know, am I supposed to get rid of that stuff or can I cleanse it itself? Because some of it I like. You can probably cleanse it yourself, it's just. You know, for me, I need to get rid of most of the items so that it's not like this built-up, you know, heap of stuff Um, and have just the things that I really like around. Because if we don't really like it, enjoy it, have a good feeling, warm, fuzzy about it, then it really shouldn't be in our house or our life anyway. So really, it seems yeah. like we have to take each thing and say, "Does this bring me joy?" That's if true. If it brings us joy, then we can keep it. If it doesn't, if it brings back bad memories or bad feelings, or you just feel like, "Ugh," then it's not something to hang on to. We could donate. That's true. Can you look at my, I sent you a message of my favorite painting we were talking about earlier, but I didn't want to type during my cleanse. This is the favorite painting that I wake up to. And they say, and I, when I turned on the Feng Shui report about how to, what artwork for what room and this and that, they said a love, a something of two people, a love, 
that exudes love. Oh. And you like yeah, look at that. Do I like love that. that. And, and it's, it's like their back is toward us, so it could really literally be anyone. And, you know, yeah. those two people could be anybody. And that's mm-hmm. the beauty of it. And, you know, yes. it almost looks like she has, She's hanging on to like part of a tree or sage. It sage. Might... Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I don't know that for sure, but let's pretend that Kelly, because she's cleansing and he's holding her and giving her strength from behind, and she's leading and she's cleansing the area. It kind of looks like oh, a little yeah. bit of sweeping. She's sweeping it with her yeah. other hand. See, it's holding it up and sweeping. That is sage. That could be sage, right? It could be, yeah. I like that. They have nice, they have nice oh. figures. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. They're, they're pleasing to look at. <laughs> they're doing a lot of squats. Yeah. That's what we'll keep it at that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And, you know, one of our regulars told me that um, that we are so inspirational. So that really, you know, we are reaching people, and that makes me feel really good that, you know, people are hanging on to hear the guided meditation, but that they are really enjoying being part of this. And that, you know, that's what this is also about, you know, that being there for Mm -hmm. each other. Oh, yeah. Can you make sure you save all of those? Because then when the website's ready, we're going to put all of those up on, you know, the comments and also testimonials and things like that. I'm going to have a section for that. So that'll be nice to be able to display all that. And then if we ask their permission, may we use this as a quote from you? And then we can put their name, you know. So that would be really, oh, no. why wouldn't it they want to let us, you know. So that's going to be really nice. And then people can peruse through there and see how who it has changed, how it has changed. And then we're going to start doing our blog Oh, this is a very exciting time. Yes, and <laughs> um, yeah. yes, we've got a lot of things happening. And I talked to two animal 5013Cs that are very different. They both they save animals from, you know, their no-kill shelters, and they foster them. One of them has a little different twist because it's for the animals that that people really, really love and intended to keep but they're going through a terminal illness or they got put in a nursing home. Well, this animal that might be an older one that was just put down in the shelter needs to have a family adopted or it needs to have a foster, you know, because yeah. how, you know, how fair is that to an animal to say, I'm sorry, you have an expiration date because something happened to your person. And that leads that, can relieve somebody's mind so much when they don't have to worry about if I put my dog in a shelter, are they going to put it down? Because oh, they yeah. Find someone? That's I mean, so sad I, after all the years of dedication next to that person who grew elderly just to go and throw, kill that being, that beautiful animal. I really want to have one of those organizations on the League of 50, one that specifically does that. And so you found oh, one? Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah. So, awesome. yeah. I, yeah. So I I did a lot of networking at that festival, the Leela Palooza in Battle Creek. And it was at this beautiful place, the Arboretum. And it is just like, you know, rolling hills and meadows and, you know, trees. And they have these really cool, you know, carved out things out of, um, you know, uh, like hundreds of feet tall, these sculptures made out of wood. And, you know, or you can see, like, the tree stump, and then it's, you know, carved into something and painted and beautiful. And they have beautiful gardens and a fountain, and they had all kinds of different, um, 
like, they had three bear gardens and, like, three stages, and they had all kinds of different vendors. They even had the pride, you know, Battle Street Pride out there, and it was just amazing. In fact, there's a little something that I want to get for you, and I want to... I want to show you, like, I'm going to send you, like, a picture of the brochure so you can tell me if that's something you would actually use. Because if it is, then, you know, I think that would be a really cool, you know, um, sister gift for you. But I bought one, and she helped me pick it out and put it in to figure out how to use it. And they have it for different, like, hair um, thicknesses. And mine, it looks like I have a lot, but it's very fine. So I got the one that's the small, but if it's something you would use because it's very versatile, um, then let me know and I will show you some pictures. But um, yeah, I thought, wow, you know, this would be cool. So, but um, yeah, and I'm sorry, Jonathan, I could get you one, but you know, it's not gonna quite look the same. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, a hair, a hair doodad for ladies. I would get you one, but you know it's not going to have the same effect. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'll have to find you know something for you. But yeah, so I'm just excited that we're going to be meeting. At, you know, um, we don't know when yet, but it's just it's the whole thing is exciting. This this whole journey is just. Like, I, there's so many great things happening. Like, I keep getting the number five, so it feels like we have five really strong, good, positive things happening. And, yeah, like, the next five, five months. Five, five for who? For the whole show, for all of us. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, for you. I know, like, you need to hear this because... You know, you've been battling depression, and it's not a secret. You've talked about it. But, yeah, this is for all of us. Um. So, yeah, I mean, you're going to look back at this time, Jonathan, next year, and you aren't going to recognize yourself because you'll be in a well, much better place. Okay. This is the thing. That's the thing. You don't understand. One of the reasons I'm depressed is because a year ago something horrible happened. I'm not going to go into the I details. Know. I know. I know what it is. But the thing is, is that a year from now, you're going to be able to have that be so far in your rear view mirror, you're not going to look back at it anymore. Does that make sense? I, I guess. I mean, it doesn't look like it, though. Well, it doesn't mean that something else like it has to come into your life to replace it. It just means that the shift is going to be different and that you're going to be able to find happiness. You're going to be able to be part of something that you feel is important enough that you're going to be able to let that go. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then, because you, you have some, if you want something else in your life to replace it, you need to make room for it. And I think you know what I'm talking about. I yeah, told I him understand. he needs to cut the cord. Why mm-hmm. is he cutting well, out the cord ritual? Yeah, we should do that. I mean, it doesn't hurt to do things again, you know. But, mm-hmm. yeah, and then once that is that's going to not even be a dot in your vision anymore looking back. You're going to be like, wow, okay, I'm done. I don't feel any connection to it anymore. Mm. And then you'll have room for happiness to come in. Mm -hmm. But right now, it's like when we have the mediums on, if you're in a grieving period, you can't see the good things coming. So it's not push the grieving period aside. It's hit it head on, deal with it head on, and then be able to let it go and then make room for better things. 
All right. Well, I think um, we, are we uh, do we have room uh-huh. for a little bit of a guided meditation? I don't think yeah. so. We would only have like thirty minutes left. Oh, well, that's I can do good. one in twenty. Yeah, that's a what? good amount. I can do one in twenty. Let's do this, and then we can warn <laughs> people that um, we can warn people that if they want to listen to just the guided meditation, to tune in at two hours and twenty five minutes. It's hard to even think okay. that late. Is it serious? But yeah. Perfect. Okay. No, it's perfect. Okay. Okay, I'm, re- I'm so ready. Thank you, Kelly. Thank You're you so welcome. much for doing my chakra. It was amazing, and we'll talk more about it tomorrow. I'm looking forward yes. to now meditating. Thank you. Yeah, this has been amazing. Um, okay. So we're getting into our guided meditation frame of mind. So, If you will, you are in a meadow. The sun is starting to set. You can feel the warmth of it, even though it's starting to set, and you can see the golden streaks in the sky, how the colors play and dance on the palette of the clouds. And you can see the vivid purples and blues in the background of the sky. All around the clear sky, except for these little clouds around the horizon. And you can see the colors subtly changing, moment to moment. And in that perfect time, you see the warm glowing disk of the sun creeping closer and closer to the horizon. You see this orange disk as it gets closer to the horizon beginning to look like it grows larger and larger swallowing up more of the sky. And slowly, slowly dipping further down, down to where the bottom edge of the sun disappears. It seems to be touching the earth below. And our bare feet are touching the ground connected there. Her bare feet on the soft earth, feeling the connection going deep underground where it feels like the sun is dipping. The deep connection of the earth and the sky, the deep connection with the sun and the stars and the moon, this deep connection going down into the earth, down into the mantle of this big, beautiful planet, down to the molten lava core. And it raises up 
into these beautiful gardens and beautiful meadows and beautiful trees that nourish us and we nourish them and all of life's wondrous glory on the earth from the littlest one-cell organism all the way up to the ginormous elephants and to the dinosaurs before us, and some of them still live, as crocodiles, alligators, and as we see this peaceful sunset, as it grows more and more in the oranges and reds and golden yellows, as that disc gets bigger, as it dips lower, partially obscured, a little more obscured, and behind us creeps in the magentas, the burgundies, purples, the fuchsias, And the backdrop of deep space starts to become more apparent. The sun fades away. We're in the twilight glow. Ever present in the moment. Enjoying our place in the world. We turn to look at the sky above. And we see the clusters and the stars and the planets of the Milky Way. And we think about how we are so tiny and yet so important to each and every one of us. And how We can all be here for each other and all connected, connected to this wondrous beauty, this earth that we call home, to each other, to nature that's all around us, and this miraculous beauty of life. And as we are aware, we start to feel the calm of the evening settling in, wispy clouds far away, and the birds that were chirping at sunset begin to nestle into their homes, protecting their young and getting ready for a deep sleep during the night. And we allow this feeling to wash through us, knowing that in the morning at dawn is our new beginning. We know that we are limitless, only limited by our imagination, that we are not going to allow ourselves to be limited this day or any day. And so we decide in this meadow that we're going to lay on our back and gaze at the starry sky above the twinkles And we have this moment of gratitude for where we are, for all of life that lies before us, for the lessons that we have learned, and for the opportunities to come. And as we lay here, we see a star streak cross the sky. 
And we wonder where it's been. We wonder what it has seen, what it knows, how old it is, how long has it existed, and in what ways, what form was it before, what is it forming now. And we make a wish, and we know we are open enough and doing it for the greater good. And we work toward it, that it will come true. And as we're laying there, appreciating the sky above, and the wondrous glory that lies ahead for each one of us, knowing that we're each where we need to be right now. We are exactly where we're supposed to be. It feels like a comforting childhood blanket with a familiar scent as we lay feeling cushioned by this love. We cannot quite Define, but it is a certain kind of peace that washes through us and over us and protects us. And we trust in a new day. We decide that we're going to fully experience this moment. And we start with flexing our toes. And we feel the tension. And then we release. I feel lighter. And we do ankle circles one way and the other. And we feel that stretching. And we stop. And we allow ourselves to relax. Then we tighten our calf muscles and we flex our legs. We feel it tighten and the tension in there. And we praise God for the ability to do so. And we release. We release our tension and let it flow out and safely into the ground and dissipate. We flex our thigh muscles. We feel the power. And then we relax. We allow the tension to flow out. We clench our rear end muscles. And we realize that we can hold tension here. And we release. We allow that tension to flow down down through our legs and our feet, out our toes into the ground, melts away. Then we flex our stomach muscles. We feel that nice stretch. And we just let it go and relax. The tension is flowing out of us through and away. Then we arch our backs we might feel a pop or two. And we feel that tension. And we sink back to where we were. Relax. Letting that tension flow out and away. And next, we clench our fists. We open up our hands real wide. And we clench our fists again. And we open them up real wide. We just let them relax and let it flow out our fingertips down into the ground to be absorbed. We flex our arm muscles. Then we relax and we just let it go. Let the tension go. We go down into the ground safe. Down below. Then we tilt our head one way over our shoulder and over the other one, 
So we tilt our head back. We tilt our head down. And then we tuck our chin in and we bring our head back a little. And we return to neutral. And we know how we felt all the tension just melt right out away. Then we purse our lips together and we squint our eyes really tight and shut. And then we release and we feel all that tension flow away. We punch our jaw. And we open it wide. And we return it to neutral and it just feels so relaxed. It's amazing how much tension can be in a place without our realizing it. And we just relax and we allow those roots of energy to go from the bottoms of our feet deep, deep into the ground below. And we feel relaxed and light. And we think about what it would be like to travel upward. What it would be like to go wherever we wanted. To see and do whatever we wanted whenever we want. And we think about what would that be? What is it that we see ourselves doing that we really, really want? And we get lost in that moment. And we see the doors open up to a lot of possibilities that we could not even imagine before. These doors opening wide and welcoming us. And we focus. What do I want? What do I want that would be for the greater good of all? And we focus on these things. And we pray about these things. And we totally engulf ourselves in these things. What would it look like? How would it feel? What would I see and hear and taste and do if I was in the middle of doing that thing? What would it be like? I take a pause to reflect on it, to truly feel it deep inside, to go through the actions with such accuracy it feels like we're already doing it what would that be like then we focus on it and we believe that we can do it we know we've got this we know how to plan for it how to take the steps and do it right how to learn new things and be flexible with circumstances We know how to adapt. We know how to be creative and think outside the box. And if it doesn't work doing it this way, we have alternative ways of getting there because opportunities are opening right now. And we can dream it. We can do it. And that is what we know. We are worthy. We are ready. And it is our time right now. And tomorrow, with the sunrise and the brand new day, it is go time. It is time to do it. Take the first step. And not look back until we're accomplishing it. And we see how far we've come. And how wonderful it is. To know we can do whatever we set our mind to. 
everything that follows. And if it doesn't happen the way we plan, it's because there was a better plan for us. It's not that we failed because that is not a real thing. There is no such thing as failure. There are only lessons to be learned. That is what we know deep inside and carry with us always because that is the truth. And as we come to the conclusion of our journey this time, it was a short journey, but a powerful one. And we will come back into ourselves as we count backwards from five to one. But we will remember the lessons that we learned on this journey and the opportunities that are coming. We will be making available ourselves to be open for those by letting go of what no longer serves us, what we no longer need. We have dealt with and we can now purge and safely let go and make room for better to come in. We are at that point and we must do that at this time because the Mercury retrograde is a great time to let things go, to end things and do for the greater good. So that when it goes direct again, by August 5th, that new beginning has already begun. And this will all be behind us. And we have that fresh new start because we let go during Mercury retrograde. We let go. Because we are strong enough to let go and trust we will land on our feet. And we no longer need to have pain define us. We no longer need to hang on to that. That is not our reality. That is not who we are. We do not have to live that way. It is time to let go, even if that is the familiar feeling. We don't need that anymore. It's time to go. It's time to be hopeful and look forward now. Greater things need to be allowed to come in. That can only happen if we clear the way, get the debris out of the way, and make it happen. And we have every bit of opportunity and strength to do this. And it must be done now. So as I count back from five to one, we will take with us these things on our journey together and our subconscious and we can recall it at any time. We can listen to this at any time and be reminded. So five, we start to feel where we're laying or sitting. We feel things against our skin. And four, we, t- we swallow and we start to move around and shift a little and get more comfortable. And three, we are aware of our breath. We're aware of the skin with our clothing on it and how that feels. We're aware if we have itches or not. 
We're aware of how we feel in our body. And two, we're aware of what's around us. We're aware of sounds. We're aware of where we are in the world. And it's a wonderful place. And one, we open our eyes and we're fully conscious and aware again. But we carry with us these lessons and these gifts from this journey together. And this journey has concluded. And thank you for listening to the guided meditation, the Sunday restart. Thank How is you, everyone Kim. doing? You're Wonderful. welcome. That was really Good. nice. Good. Wow. Thank that you. Was great. For the yeah. for, for a short amount of time, I didn't think to do it. I well, it was great. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad that it helped. I'm glad you liked it. I know it helped me. Well, I think that it goes to show everybody out there that you don't have to do it. You can do it for 5, 10, 15 minutes. Whatever you have is better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 20 minutes was a very good amount of time to really feel it. But, yeah, throughout the day, you can just close your eyes, you know, do a little one. You know, if you're stressed out at work, sit back on your break, do a little meditation, get rejuvenated. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it can be listened to at any time. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Kelly. Now look at me here. I wasn't even knowing I was going to get a chakra healing, which I've been wanting to get so badly. And and now I have that plus the guided meditation. My week is going to be great, and I know it is going to be great. Thank yeah, you for all the encouragement, absolutely. too. You know, you, oh, you're so yeah. encouraging to me. Thank you. It's my pleasure. I mean, you and Johnny and everyone was, you know, the show – and everyone listening, it's just like I never knew that it could be this way. That it, it, you know, it's just it's so meaningful and it's so helpful and it's so encouraging and it's so positive. You know, just being part of it and it's like I have to thank you guys. Like every day, it's like I learn something new and it's like it's just such an amazing adventure. Yes, it sure is. It's just, it's amazing what's happening. And I hope you feel better, Johnny, because what we're saying is so true. And just focus on all of that, what's going on, all the good. Okay. Yeah, because you're a huge, huge part of that. Yeah. And don't ever forget that. We wouldn't be here without You, you. Right. Mm. You're changing lives, Johnny. And you help change ours. Mm. Thanks. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. It's true. Well, thanks everyone for coming on. Uh, yeah, thank you. This was great. Right. Talk to you all soon. Okay. okay. All right. Have love you all. Have a great night. Love you.